Y'all, wait a minute. I know you lying. I know you. Hold on. My rule is if it don't stink, eat it. Feel like being here right now. <laughs> Y'all, it's 3 30. I had a late morning. Um, I did go to the gym. This is the first time I've been to the gym in over a week. Let's talk about that. So I didn't need I feel like I didn't need to go to the gym because I told y'all in the last vlog about my back and I woke up and it was I don't know. But somehow at the like if I turn my neck this way, I can feel it a little bit. But this morning, I couldn't even do this. I don't I don't know, but it's fine now. So I the reason why it's such a late day, I've been up since eight. Um, but I was trying to decide, okay, if I'm not gonna go to the gym, what I'm gonna do? I had some housekeeping stuff to do, of course, and not house, but like, y'all, stuff been all over the place. I had to schedule a doctor's appointment, which I got lucky, and they have one tomorrow. I'll talk about that in a minute. I had to, my contact subscription got messed up because they was waiting for my prescription. Anyway, that's what I meant by housekeeping. Oh, somebody, um bought like uh they wanted me to virtually train them so they joined my training program and then i had to add them in there and send them the questionnaire so i can get their workout program ready all of that because y'all know i've been all over the place so um that's why i started out so late my allergies are bothering me that's another reason i need to go to the doctor so i'm having like post nasal drip and my throat <laughs> it doesn't hurt but it's like you want to stick something down there and scratch it. So I really don't want to talk. So that's why I'm like, I don't really want to be here because I don't want to talk. I don't want to vlog. Uh, but I'm not in a bad mood, as y'all can see. I just like want to, I need to clean my house. Let me show y'all what this looks like. I'm sitting at this island. Y'all see all this shit up there? It's trash. Um, but this is moving vlog number three. And I promise y'all I will get another one. And also like the stuff I need to do. Like I need to put up my inventory and go in my closet. I didn't want to do none of that on camera. I just kind of wanted to do it and get it over with. But I told y'all that I was going to do it with y'all. So I'm here. Now the doctor's appointment that I'm going to tomorrow is because y'all know I'm on my blood pressure pills aren't working. The dosage is low. Um, I can't remember the last time I went to the doctor. She told me to take two, but then I thought she changed the prescription and now I don't remember. So I, it doesn't matter. I need to just go and let them know. They probably need to give me, I'm on 25 milligrams of Losartan. I'm sure I could take two, but then I will go through the pills quicker because you know I got a month supply, which will really only be two weeks. So I needed to go to the doctor on my, I think I told y'all I got new insurance. I'm with Kaiser Permanente and I couldn't just go to Walgreens and pick up my prescription. They wouldn't cover it. And they was telling me like, yeah, Kaiser got their own prescription, in-house doctor, all this stuff that I didn't know. And then one of y'all said that too. So I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow to get some allergy medicine and to see what's going on with this blood pressure, get some new pills for that or whatever. Um, yeah, that's where we're at, but no, I don't want to talk. I really don't want to vlog. My throat um, is bothering me. But anyway, it's 3.30. 3.33 now. 
and I need to get, I'm trying to get, this is a moving vlog, but it's more like a getting it back in the routine vlog, like how I went to the gym. I need to start, I haven't made no content, y'all, besides vlogging, because that's, I ain't gonna say it's easy for me to do, but yeah, because I'm just sitting here talking to y'all, and I show y'all everything, but as far as like, you know, workout reels and EHP lab stuff, and I gotta do this reel for the fit jeans, I don't have to, but I wanted to, just stuff like that, and then I need to be working on, um, Thick like thick, thick like Mia Instagram page where it will be like my workout, uh, like promoting my programs and stuff. Remember, I'm supposed to be making a program, and I just thought I was gonna be able to do it this month. It's three, four days left in the month. I don't see that, and I I just need to be fine with that because I need to um just collect. We don't want to overstress, overwhelm. It's fine. It didn't get done. I know you wanted it too, but baby, we're gonna have to give myself grace because I moved. I moved. I went to Miami. I know I had the rest of the month, but actually the first week of February, remember I was sick. And so then after that, I was trying to get ready to move and then I moved and then, so I'm just gonna have to like give myself grace with that. But anyway, um, now I'm trying to figure out like where should I start? And it's a lot to do. It's not a lot, but it's a lot. Um, because I have a bag on the couch that is stuff for the desk that needs to, it's either it's going in back in the desk or it's not. I need to go into the active work closet. Y'all, it is so dark in there. Um, Cause I got my workout outfit out of there this morning and I was like, damn, that closet sleep need lights too. The other one at the other apartment didn't because I guess it was so small. And I I don't need like, what, this one is just so big, it's dark. I don't know, it's dark. But I don't know. I don't feel like buying any more lights and you got to uh, plug those lights in and charge them. It's, it's just a lot, but I probably do. And I was looking like, ain't no outlet in here. Cause I, it's so much room in there. I could just put a lamp up, but there wasn't an outlet. And now I'm thinking, well, maybe if I just run it, in, I'll go show y'all. But um, yeah, I need to clean up in the kitchen. I need to go grocery shopping. We'll do that tomorrow after the doctor's appointment. I guess I'll have baked spaghetti tonight. Cause there's absolutely no way I'm eating anything that's not in this house. Y'all see me make my breakfast sandwich. Ooh, y'all been loving this, so I switched it up a little bit. I got my bread, um, turkey breast, two fried eggs, um, cheese, which I could do or not do. I don't have to have it. But that pesto and mayo, my chef's kiss. Um, then I need to go in my room and decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of the stuff in those little drawers that's on the floor, get the closet together. I need to wash clothes. So this is like moving, putting everything back into place vlog, but also a getting back on track life, like, you know, doing laundry and cleaning the kitchen and buying groceries, working out, cause I ain't worked out in over a week and I was sick of it, sick about it. So I had a great workout today. It was amazing. That OxyTrain hardcore don't sleep, baby. Cause y'all know, first of all, I barely ever want to do cardio today i did my cardio and i wanted to run i had an urge to run i was like take it easy because you know your back was just acting up a couple of hours ago but don't sleep on the oxy hardcore i absolutely love the hardcore um like line or whatever i like it better than the oxy i think that's just because i'm used to taking the oxy straight and that hardcore give you a little bit more edge they don't have as many flavors, but I just tried the new Sour Creepy Crawlers as y'all saw. And they have a new oxy shred flavor, Bahama Breeze is sitting over there. I guess I'll try that tomorrow. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to think about what I want to do first. I guess the desk stuff would be easier and then we can go over there to the active work closet. I'm the, I really don't want to go to my own closet because that's going to be the one. So I might hold off and do that last, which also means it might be tomorrow. Because again, it's 3.30. I know I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and I need to go to the grocery store, but I don't know. Cause I gotta like take basically everything out of the closet and then put stuff up. And th yeah, I don't, I told y'all I didn't want to get into my closet. Like I am dreading getting into that closet. Y'all, I'm still on a high from the Gymshark lift event. I'm so sad that I missed day two. That shit was amazing. I cannot stress it enough. I've been looking at all the athletes post every time they post in their stories to see what's going on, what happened. All that stuff. Um, yeah, that was amazing. So here is the bag of stuff for the desk. Oh, my throat is so, it just feels so irritating. Y'all is mad because he over here trying to take a nap. And I'm over here talking and I can't put y'all right there because then y'all are against the light and it's dark. Anyway, um, his damn bone on the floor. So on the desk, y'all, of course, is the computer. 
This is my Canon camera, which I typically keep over here for the most part. I take pictures on there and do like my reels and stuff. Then I have the diffuser or a diffuser on the desk, which doesn't have to be here and I doubt that it will. Guess what else? Y'all see this new TV that I bought? How about it has not been turned on since my mama been here? I, this is why I'm not, I said I was gonna start being out here more and not being in my room, but if, damn, it's the I love my bed. Like I love being in my bed, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but anyway, like I did use the, when I was up in the other apartment, like this would be the TV that I got playing music on and blah, blah, blah. But the diffuser could go here. That's how, that's where it was in the last house. But I also might move it to my room. Then I also said I wanted another diffuser, but girl, even if I got another one, it would be today, no time soon. Cause I'm not, I'm tired of, I'm tired of spending money. <laughs> I am so tired of it. Um, but I could put the diffuser right here back how it was, like in the middle and here's a plug for it. I absolutely could. I could put it, no, it's too much stuff over there where Kanye is. Yeah, I could put it here. Yeah. I could. For right now, that's where it's gonna go because I, it's not gonna be on this desk. So, now, oh, so I have stuff. My mama didn't take the stuff out that was in here. So we're gonna leave that alone. I don't know what's in there. I don't care. It's not my business what's in there. But, uh, here, which that shelf need to go there. And now I don't think it can because it was, the shelf was on these little pegs and I remember seeing these in the room when um, we moved out, but now I don't know what I did with them. So I might have to throw that shelf away. Cause I, uh -uh. And there's nothing in here either. So that's what's in that bag. Let me see really quickly if I can find. It was only three more. There's supposed to be four, but I lost one a long time ago. So I'm gonna see if I can go see where I put them. Cause I, girl. So, yep, that was a lost cause. <laughs> but I went into the other room and I found this. And this was stuff that went into the desk too. And I'm like, how all this stuff was in this desk? So now is when we, we have to throw that shelf away. It's probably for the best, cause it wasn't stable anyway. Could I buy some pegs like this somewhere? Probably. Do I want the damn desk? Where can I find those pegs? Let me get my phone. And not the desk. I don't know why I'm saying throw away the desk, the shelf. <sighs> Let's see, this is an IKEA desk. So IKEA. IKEA pegs. For shelves. Somebody already did it. Yes. You can actually get them for 50 of them off Amazon. Okay, cool. All right, I won't throw them away. You can buy them at Ace Hardware. Okay, cool. So now we got something to do. So I will keep that shelf. So then it make me feel like, should I even be doing this right now? Cause I'm not going to Ace Hardware today. I have to do that tomorrow. Um, let's look what's even through here. And I'll put them in there. Uh, oh, wow, first thing I pulled out. Ah! Um, yeah, this was supposed to be put on the, I was supposed to frame it and I didn't cause I knew I was moving. So yeah, we gotta frame this. Oh my God, wasn't it crazy that this is the first thing I pulled out? I didn't even know, I just like, mm, okay, let me put that right there. I need to get um a frame for that. Where am I gonna put it? I don't know, but I'm framing it. Um, let's see what else is in here. My, um, this should have been framed too. My personal training, um, certificate. But I need another one. Why do these expire? That's like your degree expiring. And it just expired in 2023 of December. That is weird. So you just get another one for every two years? I don't like that. I do not like that. Your degree don't expire. Anyway, these are fabric swatches. So we'll keep those. Is this a fabric swatch? Yeah. Here is a degree that should be put up somewhere. But all this was just in the shelf. I never, so at my other apartment, ooh, that's crazy. These haven't been put up. Did I put them up at the, the apartment in Shambly? 
I was gonna say they haven't been pulled up since I lived with my ex in Decatur. But I don't remember if I put them. I think I did put them up in Shambly, but still, it's been two years. Yeah, it's been two years, wow, that I didn't put those up. I don't even know where I would put them. All right, I'm, it doesn't matter. They just need to come out this bag. Here's my DEXA fit scan, I guess. Another degree. My birth, um, my birth chart. I have my birth chart. This is the last thing my grandmother bought me ever in life. She passed. And I said I was gonna get this laminated. Like they're they're just um sheets of paper. So my birth chart. But I wanna get it laminated so I can keep them forever because the last thing she bought me. And then my little YouTube letter when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Um sure, I guess. I'm very nostalgic if y'all can't tell. I just wanna keep your shit. This is another fabric swatch. I still have my old Sony ZV-1. <laughs> I'll keep that just in case I, something happened and I need to vlog and I ain't got no camera. Um, My Bible that I got from my mom's friend. Journals that never got used. We went through this, y'all. remember when I was cleaning out the um, desk. And then a book. Okay. This, these are these accessories that my mom bought me. There's just clips in here that I do need and rolls of tape. All right, so I'll pick them up. And then my um, Green Bay Packer doll that my dad bought, of course. Of course, I don't like her aesthetic though. Like she don't match with nothing. <laughs> That's why I just be keep her up because my dad bought it. I want to keep it, but girl, you be looking weird wherever I put you, like you just don't go. Also, remember I showed y'all these beat case in the one of the movement vlogs. These are the beats. Should I keep them? Look, they, so what happened was the original like earmuff things got messed up. So I bought these covers, which y'all can see they got messed up too. It's supposed to be green like over it, but I sweated so much over the years that you know it just, but anyway, but they work. But basically just the, the, the muff thing that go over it is messed up. Should I just toss these beats or what? I just cannot throw stuff away. Y'all, please tell me what to do. <laughs> Cause I, I'm gonna put them up for now, but I have an issue with throwing stuff away. But at the same time, I don't like clutter. Like, what would you do with these beats? They work, yes, they're raggedy as hell, but they're not broken. And they're headphones. What if one day you just need some headphones and like my AirPods aren't working or I lose one and while I'm waiting to get some more, do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, what would you do? Just like this OZB one, I mean, yeah, I'm a key, it works. What if something happens to my vlogging camera and I need another one and I can't get one right now or something like, I don't know. But then I also have this and you can vlog this. What do you do? Like, I'm not throwing away a camera that works though. Like, what do you do? All right, y'all, we're all done with the desk. I just put that stuff in there the best way I could. There's the shelf that I'll have to buy pegs for later. So moving on to this dark, dark closet, y'all. Y'all see how dark it is in here? This is the light coming from the bathroom. I'm gonna close the door. Look, it's dark. I would love to put a light right there. There's plenty of space. Look how much space it is. Look, I can't even touch over there. This is how much space. <laughs> Look y'all, I'm standing right here next to the wall. And I mean, if I wanted to lean, but I mean, just me standing straight up, I can't even touch the rack. That's how much space it is. I can't believe this apartment has this much space. It's kind of sickening. Like, all of my actors on this side, and I, this closet ain't even, look at it, it's not full. I'm gonna turn y'all around. These won't be here. These are clothes that need to be hung up. So this won't even be here. Look at all this space. This will not even be here. There's nothing here. These hangers shouldn't be there, but I just want y'all to see. I don't even have enough actorwear for this closet, which is fine. We'll work on it. <laughs> um, the shoes are here. Those are shorts. They don't have to be there. Hats are there, whatever. All of this is bare, as you can see those are miscellaneous books and stuff but anyway we have to talk about these because y'all was saying to take them off and put them in the other closet since it's customizable i know i know the lighting sucks i know um however i'm gonna show y'all unless i can take these shoe racks out it's not enough room and switch them out because the other closet is just like this so what i mean by that is y'all see how it's two right here and then the other like sliding shelves is the shoes. But I think I can just lift this out. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, we in the game. We in the game. 
Because I could also put like my gym shoes in the shoe rack. Like when I say gym shoes, you know how we used to say sneakers, we used to say gym shoes. Yeah, no, gym shoes, like shoes for the gym. They will be better served in here. I mean, well, they're in their box, but I don't need to have them in the box. And then I have other shoes in my room that's like specifically dirty, like Nikes and stuff that I wouldn't wear for real that can go in here. So, yeah, I'm going to, that is amazing. I can switch that out. I'm so glad one of y'all said that because I didn't even think about that. So I can take these shelves out and switch them out for the shoe racks. I'm so excited about that. See, I'm so glad I didn't run out and buy them cubbies. Over consuming. All right, but anyway, so then all this stuff over here is inventory. This is what we're about to do is put our inventory, remember, in here. So I'll know what I have and what I don't. Because when I packed orders on Thursday or Friday, whatever day I did, it was hell. Because I just did, I had to just pull and find stuff, girl. I ain't no girl, girl. So then... I guess that's what the rest of this closet will be used for because I got rid of those shelves. But I can put them in that room. There's nothing in there. I can put them like against the wall. But I uh, might not need to. We could probably just do it nicely against this wall. I don't know. That's why I'm in here. But I'm about to go switch these damn um, shelves out real quick. shoes but look at that y'all my throat y'all hear my i'm sorry my throat i'm so glad i can get to see the doctor tomorrow because i need the allergy medicine asap for real listen to me <laughs> my boy's already rasping now do y'all hear this anyway this is the closet y'all um i put up all the clothes that was there so I do have way more active wear than I was led to believe. As you can see, it came out quite a bit. But still, this is all my active wear on this side. Besides those shorts, um, I put all the inventory up. So I just separated um, the sizes. Those are flare leggings and jackets. The rest of them are in boxes. And then these are what's left of like the sweatshirts and sweatpants. The blue ones, collections those over the summer, like a little bit left. And then... Um, the celery colored shirts and leggings. But y'all see how I still got all this space. Like I have workout equipment here. I put the shoes here. The other pair is up here. Um, Yeah, so that's it for this. She's good. Probably not gonna put lights in there cause whatever. Um, Look at this room y'all. There's absolutely, it's ridiculous in here. Like just the love sack. My mama said she was gonna take the love sack. And I don't know what she thought she was going to do with it. The love sack is actually perfect in here. I don't know why she act like she couldn't sleep on it. Because I can get on there and curl up. But I guess. um, I might just keep it in here with the bed, I guess. I don't see why not. Because there's nothing else in here. This can go in the, um, I really don't need it. Like, I don't know. If I would just put it in the closet. Then y'all know my, like, ring light. And then a tripod, boo. Um, that little whiteboard that don't even really have to be in here. But I guess. So nothing's in here. Um, that's the decorative thing. Y'all know the Halloween man that was on the couch. You can see his face. Look, he's hiding. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Nothing. I was going to put her bed in here. The mattress, the lull. I'm getting a lull. Should be here within the next week or so. But yeah, so I guess the love set could just, I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see where it was like. If I put the bed up against the wall here, the love set can go there. I don't, Yeah. Uh, we did the desk. Oh, those baggies need to go in the closet because those for packing orders. I told y'all my room is the one I don't want to get in. The kitchen just needs to be cleaned, but everything is put up. I just need to clean off the island. It's really coming in here. Y'all, the damn Ikea shelves that I'm terrified to put up because I don't want to mess the wall up. 
then the stuff that's left in those shelves because I need to throw those shelves away and then my damn closet which has gotten progressively worse oh then y'all sorry y'all know I just it's clothes everywhere I'm, I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah I just threw those shoes off the shelves and I need to put the jammers in here this is the part I don't want to do because it's a lot like this is a lot I don't think I'm gonna do it today but it's 5 30 I don't have nothing else to do let's see I'm gonna take out yum now and then I'm probably gonna just clean up the stuff in the kitchen because then yeah it will be nothing left but this room I'm dreading coming in here because that closet that's some work okay y'all I cleaned up the kitchen <sighs> yeah so that red bag over there needs to go back to Comcast it's the old like Wi-Fi box and nothing should be on top of there except for that dog. Yeah, okay, another day, another day. But anyway, the kitchen looks great. I wanted to show y'all me over consuming. Do you remember when I told y'all I had command hooks in the bathroom or my uh, closet for those robes? So why'd I go buy some more? That's because I didn't know these was there. Y'all probably like, okay, why you got command hooks? Because you use the Amazon hook. I guess you'll find out when we get into the closet, baby, because... I knew I wanted to do that today. I'm so tired. I've been, I found some mucinex <coughs> cough drops, cough drops from my throat. When I'm coughing, it's not because I need to cough. It's just because my throat's so irritated and I need to scratch it. So I'm, I'm going to shut up because it doesn't feel good to talk. At least the only thing good about this is I've been drinking water. Because my throat. Anyway, yeah, I cleaned the kitchen. Now tomorrow is the room in the closet. <sighs> I am dreading that closet, but I guess we gotta do it tomorrow. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to the doctor. Do y'all remember I told y'all I made a doctor appointment to literally, because I need some more blood pressure pills. Let me tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. Don't y'all remember I was like, okay, my allergies are bothering me. I need them to give me some allergy medicine. So last night, um, before I took yum out, I noticed I was freezing, like I was cold, I was shivering, and I'm like, the air is on 73, which, that's hot for me, like I usually be having it on 70, 69, but it was on 73, I'm like, why am I so cold, and then it's like, now it's hot outside, y'all, like, it's almost 70 degrees, it was like that last night, so I was like, okay, well, when I go outside, I should warm up, I'm gonna take yum out to walk him. Y'all, I was shivering walking down the street like it was 10 degrees outside. I was just shivering. So I came back in the house and I took a shower and I just noticed I had chills. And I was like, these are chills. Why do I have chills? I told y'all that my throat was bothering me. I was like, oh my God, no. So I took some mucinex and then I made tea. I thought the mucinex was gonna knock me out, but it didn't for whatever reason. Y'all, I woke up every hour on the hour last night to pee. I did not get any sleep. Nose is running. Then the chills went away. And then I was just like burning up hot. I'm hot now. Like burning up, like snatched the covers off. I'm like, yo, I'm sweating under my arms right now. Y'all, I woke up this morning. Well, I never really kind of went to sleep. Like, I, I haven't really got any sleep. But, oh, another thing. When I tried to eat my spaghetti last night, I couldn't eat it. It was just like, ugh. Like, I didn't want I'm like, damn, I haven't really eaten today. I don't know. Um. So, anyway, I need to pay attention. I'm, then I feel loopy. Why don't... Okay. Um... So when I woke up this morning, y'all, um, I, I, I don't know how I feel. I had a headache. My throat has stopped hurting, but my nose is running profusely. I have a headache. Then that my back, that little ache in my back, that came back. My back is aching right now. I don't know. Um, I checked my temperature, because I'm like, why am I so hot? I'm hot. I had a fever, like a slight fever. It was like 100 point three or something i'm like what the hell okay so i ate a piece of toast i took some aleve from my head and now my headache is gone um my nose is bothering me but my throat isn't bothering me i'm still a little warm i don't know what the hell i just i feel like i went through something in like a short period of time i have no idea it was really weird 
but I don't, I don't, I felt like I was sick. It sounded like I was sick, but now I feel fine with the exception of my, my nose, which I thought was my allergies. Like I knew that my allergies would bother me, which is why I was trying to go to the doctor and get allergy medicine. But like the fever, the chills, the no, not wanting to have no appetite. What is that? Like they had nothing to do with my allergies. I just, I just feel like I went through a lot. And this is supposed to be a moving vlog. Y'all know I'm supposed to get in that closet. I was supposed to go to the gym in the morning. We are supposed to be like getting back into regular routine. And that did not happen because I feel like poop. And how ironic is it that I was already going to the doctor today. Thank you, Jesus. And then I quote unquote get sick. I don't know if I'm sick or not because I feel fine now. Besides the fact that I'm a little warm. Then I get in my Jeep and I'm like, because I'm warm, let's turn the air on. My air is blowing out hot. I knew this was gonna happen because last summer, my air, it wasn't blowing out hot, but it wasn't as cold as it could have been. And I knew I needed to recharge. But because of something with my Jeep, I don't remember what it was, it's, it's, it's gonna cost a couple hundred dollars. Boom. And now, Georgia wanted to decide to be 70 damn degrees in February. Mind you, I know it's about to be March, but still. So now I gotta get this air fixed because I don't do hot. I don't know y'all, but I did not, this is not how I wanted my day to go. I wanted to get up and go to the gym. I wanted to get that closet. I have this dog on. Did I tell y'all I was doing a girls night on Friday? Like, I do not have time for this at all. I have another weird review I needed to do. I did not have time to be sick at all. And like, I feel fine now. But this morning, like, up until I was going to the doctor, I was just laying in the bed, like, you know, feeling kind of drained. Y'all, I don't know. I'm hoping that I, I, I keep feeling like I feel right now so I can go get in that closet. But even then, I ain't going to hold you like I feel like I don't have no energy. And I don't know what's wrong and how this happened. I was fine yesterday. I went to the gym. I told y'all I felt like I wanted to run yesterday. Everything was fine except for my throat was bothering me. And I was like, okay, allergies. Then last night, all of a sudden, I got freaking chills. So I'm on my way to the doctor now. I already know when I get there. You know how they do your vitals. They go take my temperature. It's going to be a little elevated probably. I don't know because I kept checking my temperature and it started to go down. So the last time I checked, it was 99 something. But they're going to check my temperature. They're going to check my blood pressure and be like, girl, and I'm like, I know, that's why I'm here. So, hopefully, I'll, when I leave, I think I'm gonna go get a smoothie, because I just had that piece of toast that I didn't really eat, and I was like, okay, I kinda need to eat something, so I'm just gonna get a smoothie, um, because I don't, I don't really have an appetite. I need to go to the grocery store, but I don't have an appetite. Why? Like, this was supposed to be, this was not supposed to be this type of vlog. I am so upset. I was sick the first week of February, do y'all remember? Like, what is going on? Then I ain't gonna hold y'all, I swear to God, them frontier, yeah. The whole back thing, cause my lower back was hurting me so bad last night. The same way it was hurting when I got off the frontier flight. And the guy was sitting next to him on the frontier flight, y'all, he was coughing and I was pissed when he was coughing. Cause I was like, we already too close and you over here coughing and I think, because I don't like how can I be sick for a couple of hours to be okay because I felt sick hours ago last night chills all that fever and now I'm fine I don't know but he sure was coughing don't fly frontier blood pressure high as hell I have a fever of 99.9 9. I feel fine <laughs> all right y'all I hate that my energy is low, but I didn't go get a smoothie. I just went to the grocery store to get groceries. And I didn't get a lot. So let's do our grocery haul. You know, y'all gonna throw a toy because I'm talking. Um, I wanted to get the Kevin's Thai coconut chicken to eat with my coconut rice. But of course, when I wanted to get it, I couldn't find it. So I got the Korean barbecue, barbecue style chicken um, to eat with some rice. I bought some more of my eggs. As far as drinks are going, y'all, I really don't want to consume any liquid calories like that, except for the occasional Starbucks or whatever, bubble tea, because I really have this new bubble tea I want to try. And they had this chicken sandwich, but I don't know when I'm going to get there. So I got a prime strawberry watermelon and a prime blue raspberry, and then I got watermelon poppies, because that's the only poppy flavor that's superior to any Olipop. And I won't say it's superior, but it's good. Like the other Olipop flavors, like poppy, 
Yeah, yeah, alright, but that watermelon one, she is lit. And then I got some ground beef, lean ground beef. I got some butter lettuce to make chicken Caesar salads. And then here is the grilled chicken breast strips that I got. And then I got some Swiss cheese for my sandwiches. I have some turkey in there that I need to finish eating. I slick should make a sandwich now, but I wanted to go ahead and try that chicken, um, that Kevin's. But y'all know I like to get my uh, deli meat from the deli, my lunch meat from the deli because it's fresher, but it also don't last as long and I be pushing it. But I'm, I'm a whole, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like my rule is if it don't stink, eat it. Then I just got some of uh, my ratio yogurts. Y'all know that's 25 grams of protein. I don't know why I bought these, y'all, because I had one in the car and I was just like, girl, that was a waste. But they're only 100 calories since I'm not getting my crumbles and stuff. Y'all know I do like to have something sweet. And then I bought some Zyrtec for obvious reasons. Because when I went when I went to the doctor, y'all, we did all that with the blood pressure. And then he did prescribe me an allergy pill, but he only gave me seven. Seven. It was a whole thing at the doctor's today. I really don't want to talk about it. It was just not a good experience. Um, since being self-employed, it's I've had good insurance one time through like the stop me on through like y'all know the the marketplace, and it was the most lit insurance when I was I ain't gonna say poor, but like doing bad, which is crazy. I think it was like twenty dollars a month. Everything was free doctor visit urgent care medicine like i paid for nothing now i'm not saying like if i had to have surgery or something it was free but i i'm one of those people that really don't go to the doctor often i need birth control i didn't have high blood pressure at the time so i really just need birth control and occasionally you know an antibiotic or something if i get strep or whatever blah 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 it was the most lit insurance and then for whatever reason i couldn't get it anymore and then my insurance went up to like 200 dollars. and listen y'all the 200 dollars insurance was shitty I had to pay for medicine. I had to pay for doctor visits. It, whatever. So now I'm with Kaiser and I pay a hundred dollars a month, which isn't bad. But like I went to a doctor today, it was a fifty dollar copay. Urgent care is seventy five dollars. I still have to pay for my medicine, but it's discounted. But it's like you might as well just. I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it because I know somebody personally. I said this when I was in college and I had insurance with my mom. And ever since they put that Obamacare into effect, I don't know what happened. I used to go to the doctor, everything was free. Again, we had military insurance. Then Obamacare went into effect, and um, I remember being in college, and I went to Planned Parenthood because it was literally next door to our dorm to get birth control, and it was always free. Then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, we don't take this insurance, which was like my military insurance. We only take like Medicare or like like the state insurance, blah, blah, blah. My point is, it's like you only get good insurance if you just got a whole bunch of kids, then they want to help you. And I ain't going to say a whole bunch, even just one. And then I know I'm not the only one because I've seen memes on Instagram saying the government hates single people with no kids. They do. Like, we don't get nothing. Then don't be self-employed. It's like they hate you. You you get nothing at all. Anyway, I bought some Doritos Cool Ranch for my chips because don't play with me. And then I got my bags of coconut rice. And I'm so sad because I really wanted to try that co that Thai coconut chicken. And it must be good, y'all, because I went to two different stores and they did not have it. Um, I had to let go of my peanut butter when I eat my oatmeal because it was just way too many calories, y'all. I'm really trying to be for real and get back. If you got something about my chips, I don't know what to tell you because I, I told y'all I'm not eating a sandwich without chips. And I only need a handful. It, it, I don't listen but anyway i did have to let go of that peanut butter because two tablespoons is 200 calories and that's insane so i went back to the pp2 powder not excited about it but we do what we do and then i got the fiber and protein instant oatmeal and now that i'm thinking about it i don't think i like this but oh well too bad <laughs> then i just got some granola for my yogurt uh this is baked bear it sounded really good triple triple berry crunch now this is actually high in protein nah it ain't high they have some that's like really high but you got to eat so much of it so for instance for 210 calories which is half a cup it's five grams they have some that's like 11 grams but it's still like over 200 calories and i'm not going to eat that much granola i just need a little bit in the yogurt but i want to taste this because it sounded good when i read like the ingredients and it does have like um little strawberry pieces And what are these? Blueberries? 
cranberries, strawberries, and blueberries. This is pretty good. I'm not mad at that. That would be really good, like with some milk as a cereal. Mm. And then just some basmati rice to eat with the ground beef that I bought. So as I say, I need to eat a sandwich to eat that turkey, but I really want to taste this Kevin's. So, I mean, I could eat the Kevin's for dinner, even though I was going to cook the ground beef. I'll save the Kevin's for dinner so that that turkey don't go bad. I guess I'm just going to make a sandwich. Then I guess, I guess I'll get into the closet, but y'all, I'm not feeling it. This is a low energy ass vlog. And I can't even be mad. Cause it's like, do you expect all your vlogs just to be you in a good mood? Like we've had some really good vlogs. <laughs> but now I'm sniffling. I've been sick half the day. I don't understand what's going on. I had to go to the doctor. They stuck a needle in my arm. It just, it ain't been the best of times. It also ain't been the worst of times. So there's that. I decided to go ahead and make the Kevin's chicken y'all because I'm eating the rest of that spaghetti. Like I cannot let food go bad. It's not a week old. When would it be a week? It's not a week though, I know that. I think it actually wouldn't even be a week till Friday. So I'm gonna eat it one more night. I think I can go ahead and just like polish it up. I just really do not feel good about wasting food. So I do wanna try this chicken, um, but I'm gonna eat my spaghetti. Now the chicken is already cooked, but I'm warming it up like the skillet way, so I never did this and I didn't know. I thought it was like a situation where you just gonna warm it up like in the pack that it came in. But actually it looks like this, like just chicken. And then um, I'm warming it up in this skillet and then it comes with the little sauce that goes in it. So I thought it was like really already made. You kind of just warm it up, but it's not, but I guess it's okay. Um, just gonna let it sit in here for a minute and then use this sauce and warm up the coconut rice. All right, y'all, here is my rice and chicken. Back to the basics. Let's see what this tastes like. Cause I am sad, cause I wanted that damn coconut chicken with my coconut rice. It's chicken and rice. <laughs> it's good. It ain't nothing to holler and scream about, but it's, it's chicken and rice, so. Okay, y'all, I'm sad, cause I need to put my perfume shelves up so that this room can get some order. Y'all know the perfumes on the floor, those doggone shelves are on the floor, and then that bag over there is on the floor, and I just, I don't wanna put these up because this damn drill is, she don't do what she supposed to do, or I'm not doing it right or something, I don't know, and I do not wanna mess up my wall. So, here are the screws that I have. I'm trying to see how that even, oh, okay. So, I guess I would do it like, then where the other one would go? Can one be down here? Would that be okay? If it's... All right, y'all. I hope I do not mess up my wall. And now I can't remember how I did it to like know where to put them in the wall, if that makes sense. Let me see if I do it like this and kind of this. Oh, I know I need somebody to do this for me, but y'all, like, it is petty to have to pay $50 because that's the hourly rate just to get somebody to do some damn floating shelves. This 
Cause that that don't even look even. So I put like y'all see the screws are in here to try to like make an indentation, but that didn't even look like that's even. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know how to do this, y'all. Don't laugh at me. Y'all know I do not like stuff that needs precision. I am not. No, I just want it up. <laughs> okay, I hope and pray. Y'all pray, please, please. Let me turn y'all. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, please, I don't want to mess these walls up, Lord. See y'all, they don't even go in there. I have a shitty drill. Drop the damn screw. Okay, y'all, I got a screw in there. Oh my God. Now I'm looking like, what the? Y'all, wait a minute, I know you lying. I know you, hold on. I guess that's how I go. Okay, so I got one in there. Great. Um. Where is the other screw that I dropped? Can y'all see it? Y'all, y'all see it. Like, girl, we see it. All right, y'all. So far, so good. Let me see if the other indentation was about right. It looked like it. It looks like it was about right. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to get this shit. If I had a damn hammer. Y'all, it's not going. And now it's a big ass hole in the wall. Y'all, okay. it doesn't look like it's even. Lord, please just let this slide on there. I don't need care. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I don't care. Y'all better dish. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. It's a little, maybe I just didn't screw it in there. It's a little, girl. Okay, y'all, one done. If I can just get the other one on there, we Gucci. And I feel like it's 30. Okay, just one more. All right, y'all, somehow, some way, we got it. We did it. I'm so thankful because now I have to show y'all something in the closet. I know I'm jumping around. Um, but I want y'all to see why I was so worried about this. Well, that's because the one in the bathroom from the last apartment, I totally messed it up and I did have to call somebody and I had totally like messed that wall up, but I got to show y'all something else. So yeah, the hooks that we put in here, y'all with the thumbtacks. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was e easily able to like put those screws in that wall, but in here, no. Do you think we should try again or just use the command strips? I'm using the command strips. I don't have time. Okay, y'all. The part that I have been dreading and dreading and dreading. Um, this damn closet because everything has to come out. Yeah, I don't want to do this, but I'm just going to go ahead and get it over with so I can be done. The I put the command hook up. Um, so it's like, you know, you got to give it an hour to set. 
so cool. Um, see, like, with this hoodie, this hoodie need to be washed. Um, y'all know I took those shoe racks out, so now I got these damn slides everywhere. All these Crocs and stuff that I don't wear. Um, I don't want clutter. Like, I wore these one time, y'all. One time. I never wore these. My mama bought these and she put these ugly charms on there. I just need to take them off because I actually wear these. Um, but yeah. My daddy bought these Adidas slides and I don't know why he would do that. And then they're white, so they're filthy already. You know, checks over stripes. Like, look at that. <sighs> look at these croc slides. Now I know they could easily just be rinsed off, but they're filthy. Alright, y'all. So, see, like, it's shorts and. Bras, shoes. I was gonna say, is the shoes even here? So these are like my furry heels. They would put them on the shelf because when we wearing them, when sandals, a uh, uh, kid, it's just all on the floor. Some more sandals, heels that ain't gonna see the light of day. One time, worn one time. <laughs> All right, y'all. Ah, I just don't know what to do with all of this. I do not feel like it. And it's like it all has to come out because I have to figure out where I'm going to put it. Shoes that don't get worn. It's clothes in here on the floor. What is these? This is finna be some sh What is these? Y'all. Oh my God. I don't feel like being bothered with this. All right. Y'all, I hope I don't fall and bust my head. I'm standing on my stool. But like, the wig head, girl, we, when we styling the wig? Yeah. So she can go up here. I hate to just have it up there looking stupid, but like this comforter can go on up here. I need to get closer so I can set it up and have it looking some type of way. But then it's closed. These are the on bathing suits from the closet, y'all. Jesus Christ, it's too much stuff. I hope I ain't flashing nobody. It's too much stuff. It's too much stuff. The moving the stuff down here was not that bad. It really was. The getting it all, setting it up. Oh, the wig head almost fell down. Okay, cause what else gonna go up? These suitcases not finna be sitting up here taking up space. We do not go nowhere, nowhere. Now hold on. I know this has nothing to do with nothing, but y'all look at my bag. Like I be really forgetting how much I have toned up in the years because I'm not where I want to be or where I feel like I should be. But baby, come work out with your girl. I don't be playing. She did that work. Baby suitcase. So I had the suitcase in my closet, like in the other apartment, but they won't fit now. With like the the, the closet where my coats and stuff are, which again is fine, cause I, like I said, we don't really go nowhere, so they won't have to come down all the time. <sighs> but even just moving that cleared up, like yeah, y'all, I ain't getting nothing. I gotta find somewhere for these bathing suits to go. I gotta decide what I wanna do with my shoes. Cause y'all see how like my shoes are right here. I mean, I guess I could put, cause there's some down here. I don't really want them separated. I feel like they all could fit, they all could fit down there. <sighs> cause it's some more, girl. Okay y'all, just an update. Of course that stool won't be there. I cleared out everything under here so that when I get more sneakers, I can put them there. Um, Up here. There were some jumpsuits that didn't belong, so there's nothing but jackets and hoodies right there. There's some totes like tucked under there. My hats are right there. My dresses and jumpsuits are right there. And then under there are like shoes that are like heels and boots. And y'all was crazy is I have so many shoes that I shouldn't have. Like I got so many, dare I say heels, because what what am I even doing with heels? But like I would I don't want to go up under there and show y'all. But like 
here are some heels. These are like my little kitten heels that I wear during the summer. Then these are um up here are the tan heels I showed y'all. Over there are the furry heels and then some slides. But under here. Like, I shouldn't. I'm like, why do I have so many shoes that I don't wear? It's Ego Official Heels under here. Fashion Over Heels. There goes on Fashion Over Heels. These are sandals. Some boots. Um, Ego Official Fashion Over. Like, girl. But anyway, I just took them under there because I don't be bothered. But they slick probably need to get donated. I ain't warm. So now, y'all see my dirty clothes hamper, which is going to go right there where those pajamas are. Um, Lord, this is, even though it's a lot of room in this closet, it ain't a lot of room to be trying to have no tripod in here, you feel me? These are the robes that I, actually, I think I can hang them up. I think it's good. The heavy duty robe is out there, but I'll go ahead and um hang these. See, my command shirt came in clutch. It was so easy. I don't know why I thought I was going to do something with the, um, those screws. I don't like putting holes in the wall because if you mess it up and you make the hole too big and then the screw don't fit, it's just a big ass hole in the wall. It has to be patched up. And who? So, these are my robes. <laughs> here is the screw. Oh, well, the, the screw thing. And here go one thumbnail or one thumb tack. I guess I should find the other one. Because we don't want to step on it, but I don't see it. Of course not. Oh, I'm just about to go in here in my pajama um, box. Oh, I stepped on it. Good thing I didn't step on the um, the sharp part, but I stepped on at them tag. I'm going to go in here and like put my pajamas in the drawer. Um, I separate them from like long pants and like shorts. Okay, y'all. Finally finished. I moved the stool so you can see like so much space right here. I have a little space right here for some more shoe shelves. These are little shorts um, on my shoes, which again, I'm pissed about the fact that I slick got more like heels and boots. But I just, I don't know if y'all know, I just started wearing sneakers. Like I didn't even own but one pair of sneakers for most of my life or like, yeah. Like as an adult, it's funny cause I told y'all I went from girly girl to like, yeah, I was a girly girl. I used to wear heels every day to school downtown Atlanta at Georgia State walking on concrete I don't know what that was about baby but yeah anyway um here are all my pajamas I'm so glad that one of y'all uh suggested for me to do that because I would have not thought that I could like just switch the shelves and now um I was gonna put that dresser y'all know right here but now I don't have two and so my dirty clothes are right there and this is like miscellaneous waist belts uh waist trainer belts um fanny packs so like lingerie and stuff like just miscellaneous stuff whatever probably again don't need it but anyway all of my uh, them Crocs are down here. Yeah, my Croc boots and my Crocs and then like my bubble sandals. Um, and yeah, these are like my leisure Aaron running clothes. These are my tops and then these are my jeans, cargo pants, sweatpants, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm excited that this finally done. Um, I'm done. Oh my God, I'm done. I am. There is nothing else in the corner, y'all. I got rid of everything that was in the corner. This is where I was thinking about putting the love set, but I know it's going to be cluttered. What do y'all think? Should I go try it? I guess. I'll try. <sighs> now I got to get that. Oh my God. I'll try though. Um, here's my vanity. It's, it's cluttered because it's so little. So, um, well, of course, y'all know the drill don't go there, but y'all know I just did my makeup uh, last weekend. So, the the goal is to keep that, like, everything put up. But, anyway, then I put up my shelves, as y'all can see. There's nothing on the floor here. We got rid of those empty shelves or the shelves that came from the other vanity. Y'all know this is my little display thing. I have my little salt lamp right there. And, boom, I mean, it's so much space in here. So much space. Um, but I'm going to try the love sack, I guess. I feel like I'm going to regret this, <laughs> but here we are, because this thing is heavy. 
Um, how would I? I would want it to kind of like dip. Y'all, I don't want to flash y'all. My boobs are boobing today in this bra. I'm trying to shape how we want the love sack to go. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. This is a workout in itself. Um, uh, y'all, if I would have got a smaller one, but I got it just trying to get somewhere for Lorraine to sleep. She don't want to sleep on it. See, no. No, that's just... Let me step back. No, look at that. That is a mess. I told y'all it's too big. <laughs> I mean, it feels great. It just looks stupid. Damn, now I'm gonna have to drag it all the way back. Cause I know this looks crazy. I don't know y'all so I posted this on Instagram and everybody said that it looked cozy and also um I could put like a new sign above it but I like it to like sit in it and read and I know like from this angle because I played back the video on the camera and I was like it don't look bad but it's when you like walk up and then y'all see like how close it is to the bathroom don't mind that little bin of trash but you see how close it like is to the bathroom and like to the bed what do y'all think I mean, I think that I am going to leave it here. It is like a cute little reading place. Like, I was just sitting here scrolling on my phone. And it is so comfortable. Like, it's very comfortable. And, like, it would be a good place to read. So that I don't have to, like, be in my bed. And sometimes I come in my room just to... I just don't... Like, I'll get in the bed. And then that'll be my downfall. And that's also why my excuse was to not make up the bed. Because I was like, well, what's the point in making up the bed if I'm going to get back in it, like, just to sit or whatever? So, it's just, you know, it gives me something to sit in. But do you see how close I am to my bathroom? What do y'all think? Is that okay? And like I just told my best friend, honestly, why does it matter what it really look like? Because don't nobody be here. So, it's serving a purpose here. But then I also could have left it in the room where it was like the guest room because nothing's going to be in there but a bed nothing so i don't know but i'm not going to move it from here tonight at all maybe i don't even know if i ever will but um y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about the little sack being right here good morning y'all i realized that i did not put my lights in my closet um, I realized when I was in there, they're like, damn, it's dark in here. Oh, yeah? Is it? <laughs> is it? So, I have to put these magnetic um, strips up there, but this is literally nothing. Plug and play, because I'm ready to be done. And I thought I was, it, like, absolutely done. I said that yesterday, and I was like, oh, no. I have to put the magnetic tape up, but it's literally just a roll of tape. Um, do I need to cut it? Yes, I just need to cut it. So I'm going to do that really quickly because I have four minutes of my memory card. I didn't use my long memory card this time and I figured now, like, I don't, I talk too much. Like, I'm on my 32 gig, I talk too much. 64 every day. So let me just go ahead and plug these up so I can say my goodbyes and everything and not have to leave y'all abruptly. So yeah. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to show y'all this, but listen, I stuck the magnetic tape. Oh, y'all can't see. Sorry, I can't see. It's dark. So, right here. Can y'all see that? It doesn't matter. It's right here, right? Look at this. Ain't, ain't this about a... Like, it's it's trying to hold it, but it just cannot. Ain't this about a you-know-what? A b, a b. Ain't this about a b. Damn. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Let me try to grab this off. Um... I'm just going to have to go to Home Depot. Look at this. Amazon, did you let me down. The damn, what was it? The hooks. Now the damn tape. Look. Y'all. Like, you see, it won't. This one has, okay. Since it has a sticky back. I want y'all to see this one. Don't have no stick to it. I mean, well, it's covered up. It's not... This one held a little bit better. But even like in the middle, do you see that? How it's lifted up? It should be flat on it because it's magnetic. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do this with you. I, I hope I ain't. I don't think I passed the return window. You're going back to hell where you belong. I'm not. All right. 
So, I'm not gonna say bye to y'all because I need to have a whole talk, which we will do on our computer. So, because I have three minutes and I know it's gonna be a little long winded. But, um, I, I did what I could as far as our moving. Um, what didn't work? I mean, well, the hook thing that didn't work, we fixed that with a command strip. I don't have my lights. But in the next vlog, which will not be a moving vlog, I'm concluding the moving vlogs. Okay, we're done. We have moved. We have settled. Uh, but I will this weekend go and get some magnet tape for my lights because I do need them. So, see y'all on the computer. Hey, y'all. All right. So, before I end the vlog, I wanted to say to leave y'all on a very high note because... It, it was, it's a high note type of thing. So I'm officially moved into the apartment. Obviously, everything is pretty much set, ready to go. We got new TVs, everything gets put into the closet. Like the apartment is completely done. Absolutely, for, except for the um, the lights in the closet. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but no. Like we are unpacked, everything is set up. Y'all know that room is empty, but I'm not really worried about that because I don't even know next time I'm coming. But I will have a mattress put in there and like a whole bed. But nothing else is really gonna go in there except for I might still keep the tripods in there because I did have like, uh, you know, some tripods in the spare room that's just, you know, for my cameras or whatever. And it's fine to keep them in there. And I still have plenty of room in my closet, the active work closet to move it in there. So I'm just thankful that I have all of this space. Like there's nothing crunched. The only thing that may be a little like, eh, is y'all know I have the love sack in my room. But I feel like it's fine. Like I said, it's not like people just be in my house to critique it like that. And it's not bothering me. And I like it being there to like see, like I was in there earlier, just scrolling on my phone. I don't have to like get in the bed to like, sit down if I want to sit down in my room but anyway I just want to leave y'all with the fact that everything works out as I'm concluding my mood I'm um, my move I'm thinking about how uh, a month ago which was January 28th not even then I want to say like early January and I knew I had to move the next month I did not know how I was going to move. And it's not that I didn't know how because you're going to move but I just felt overwhelmed with the whole moving process because I was like look this is a lot. I have a lot going on in my life. We're going on in my business aspect. And I just don't see how this move is going to work. But it did. It worked. It worked out like it always does. And I mentioned this before and I can't remember. I think I actually already talked about this. I want to just keep this in my heart and in my mind that it always works out. I want y'all to know it always works out. I really want you to sit and think about so many times when you didn't know how X, Y, Z was going to happen, what you going to do about this, it always works out. And I'm telling y'all this because I need to tell myself, I'm a person that I struggle with anxiety, I have anxiety, I know a lot of you can relate, and that anxiety is all the time worrying about something that ain't even happening that's in the future. And today I journal like in my prayer journal, I haven't been in my prayer journal since I think the first week of February, so it's terrible, but I was like, Lord present i want to be present and be thankful for what's in the present because like i've mentioned before usually nine times out of ten right in this minute right in this second there is nothing wrong we either worry about something that already happened and we can't change it and we r ruminating over it or we worry about something in the future where it's going to work itself out and then it brought me to the bible verse actually um i was in a bible plan i think it's called a beautiful mess or something i don't know but they were talking about and i'm gonna mess this up martha i can't think of the other sister y'all know i'm a newbie but if anybody knows and they want to correct or critique in the comments feel free but it was the bible i don't even remember the book of the bible it was in but jesus came to visit these two sisters okay Martha I can remember was one of them and maybe it was Mary I, I don't know I'm sorry but he came to visit them and one was so concerned with oh I gotta clean I gotta host I gotta cook I gotta do all this and the other sister was just sitting in Jesus presence and the, the one that was cooking and cleaning and doing the most was like look Jesus you see this she over here sitting here ain't doing nothing and she need to be helping me and Jesus said no she doing what she's supposed to be doing you over here doing too much be present. She was spending time with the Lord. You over here worried about, oh, I got to cook. I got to clean everything. God, look where you want everything to be perfect and presented a certain way when you just need to be present in this moment. So remember that, like be present in life. Cause if you, if you sit in the present of what is going on again, nine times out of 10, there is nothing really like at the present time that you need to be worried about. So you should just sit and enjoy that. And everything is going to work itself out. It always does. And that is not mean just to go and do whatever, like forget the consequences going to work out. But when you're doing what you know you can and you can't do any more, then you just present, sit present in the moment and know and have faith that everything works out 
for the good of those who love the Lord. And that is a Bible verse. So anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna do all that y'all know that I will do. Um thank y'all for rocking with me as always. I holla.